All right, just before we do the concrete, I wanted to make sure <clears throat> I don't make the mistake that a lot, a lot of y'all have seen out there where sometimes someone will put concrete, a concrete patio slab, and they'll wind up covering those very vital inlets and outlets right here. So as you can see, this is one, and then here's the other, and that part right there, a the circle there. I guess that hook is there when they lift it. But, so we don't make that mistake of putting concrete over this whole thing. That's what I'm gonna do. Now, here's another thing that'd be a problem. See this big old root? Well, that's what I got the saws off for. I'm about to cut that root. Uh, it wasn't causing any problem at all, but still, it's in the way I'm gonna cut it before it possibly become a problem. But yeah, any and everyone out there, if you're gonna do a concrete slab over your septic tank, first of all, know where your septic tank is at for one and don't cover it if you do cover it make sure you leave the inlet and the outlet part exposed so make yourself a nice cement cover to match your concrete patio or something like that or make something decorative that that looks nice but make sure you leave access excuse me my dog on mosquitoes make sure you leave access points to the inlet and outlet do not just cover it and then it's gonna cost you a pretty penny when you have an issue or if you have an issue because now what that would mean that whoever come they're gonna or yourself you're gonna have to break up your concrete and to get access to these points so if you do a concrete pad i'm being redundant here if you do a concrete patio make sure to leave these points exposed right there and there and like i said just make yourself a nice concrete slab to match your concrete patio, but you can always lift it up to have access, okay?